everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today, I have three different boxes to share with you guys. We have the Vela box, the Goddess Provisions box, and the Vine O box. Now, we've definitely had some big Subscription Box Sundays recently. This one's a little bit smaller. It's gonna be a little bit more chill, a little bit more chatty, a little bit more fun. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on this channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes and on Sundays I like to unbox multiple subscriptions at once so you can see them all in one video. So if you like those kind of videos definitely make sure to give the video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads and let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today. My eye looks a lot better. You might have already seen that in Friday's outro video where I um Got to display my eye again. I'm still not feeling comfortable enough to wear makeup. I think technically I can wear it, but my eye, I'm not ready. It doesn't feel ready. And I don't think I'm gonna do any like try on videos this month. I don't wanna put any new makeup on it. At some point I will wear makeup again this month, um, but I don't wanna try anything new on it right now just because, ugh. Um, But yeah, today we got these boxes to dive into. I'm so excited to dive into them. Um, I will say that like I'm starting to get used to filming without makeup on and let me just tell you it's great because it saves me like 20 to 30 minutes of getting ready before filming. I'm like maybe I need to do this more often but I love wearing makeup but sometimes it's like all I'm going to do is film one video and then I have to do a full face of makeup just to film the one video and then I take it all off. It just feels like useless so it's kind of nice to like not have to wear makeup when I'm filming, I'm not gonna lie. And like I said, this is gonna be a chill hangout video, get a snack, get a drink, let's hang out um, and I think Let's start off by diving into the Vela box. Now this is the Vela box for February of 2023. If you're unfamiliar with Vela box, this is a monthly candle subscription where each month you get a different candle from a like handmade artisan candle maker in the United States. This box is sent to me free for review. Actually, all of the boxes in today's video were sent to me free for review. And there are three different subscriptions that they have. The one that I get is their largest subscription, which is the Vivere. You get um, a 16 ounce candle for $38 a month. They then have their Ignis, which is an eight ounce candle for $28, or their Lucander, which is a four ounce candle for $18 a month. I do have a really awesome coupon code for this box where you can get 50% off your first box. And you do get to curate the scent in your box based on your profile. So you don't get to go in and pick your scent. I do get to do that because uh, it's sent to me free for review, but yours would be based off of your profile. So when you sign up, you fill out a scent profile talking about which scents you like, which ones you don't like. Do you like strong scents or not strong scents? So if you're a big fan of floral, you'll put that and you may get more floral type candles in the box. So it is curated to your scent type. This is what the box looks like. I really love their packaging and branding. I love to read what's on here because I feel like it like really gives a good um, look at the box. It's artisan made, luxury scents, elevated design, eco-friendly packaging and natural ingredients. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. It says create space for peace, happiness, and self-respect and dance parties in the living room. And then there is a little thing there for a Spotify playlist, which I'm assuming you can have your dance party in the living room with. I had a dance party in my living room last night, but it was not to their romanticizing life one. It was to a, well, Rap meets metal. I, some of you guys may know, I am a big fan of metal, metalcore, heavy metal, like that kind of music, which I don't think people think of when they look at me. And Falling in Reverse came out with a new song that was just like, Pfft. so anyway, some of y'all may know who they are, some of you may not. If you don't like heavy metal and you don't like rap, don't listen to them because you will not like it. But I personally like that stuff. So the candle each month comes in a drawstring bag. Each month the drawstring bag has like a different, it's like a canvas material and it's a different pattern. This month it's this beautiful, like burgundy maroon red color with these like florals on it. It kind of looks fall to me, but it also does read February, which is really pretty. So the featured candle maker this month is Sage and Bloom Home and Body out of McCordsville, Indiana. I-N, is that Indiana? It's whatever I-N is. <laughs> um, so they started Sage and Bloom in 2018, and after being fed up with commercial and chemical loaded products, she wanted to find a solution that was less harsh and more natural. So she began her own less toxic and consciously created brand. Um, they use fine fragrance oils with the complex scent profiles. Every candle is made with 100% natural wax and for an even clean burn. Um, the fragrances are mutagen free, carcinogen free, phthalate free, and never tested on animals. Um, they describe their product line as chic and modern with an earthy twist. Okay, so I went floral with my scent this month. 
But let's look at the, oh, it's such pretty packaging. I got the Dark Rose and Labdanum scent, which is the floral scent. I love the packaging. Now, it's all fairly similar each month, but the sticker and stuff is different. Now, a white lid with a beautiful gold, like, rim around it. I feel like we haven't seen that before when there have been white-lidded candles. And I love this big white um, sticker, but it's, like, gold foil on it. So I'm really curious to see what this smells like. Um, it does have scent notes. Before I smell it, let's see. Pink peppercorn, grapefruit, plum, black rose, cumin, vanilla, patchouli, and labdanum. So it says here that Sage and Bloom describes this scent as sultry and romantic. Delight your senses with a beautiful marriage of fruit and floral notes with the addition of vanilla and musk for dimension. This one is love at first sight. I'm so excited. I don't normally like floral scents, but this one just sounded so good with like the plum and the patchouli and the vanilla. So, standard wax and wick. I'm so happy I chose this. Oh my goodness. Mm, I, it's like vanilla-y, sexy, floral, dark, yummy. Oh, I really like this. This would be a really beautiful perfume as well. I will say that I've never seen this before, but there is like paper in the top of the lid. So don't, I, I'm gonna need to remove this because sometimes I will, to keep the smoke from going everywhere, like to stop the candle, you know what I mean? And obviously the paper could burn. So I'll need to figure that out. But the scent of this one, oh, that's good. I haven't had a scent like this, like before in this box. And this one's really good. Mm, it is a really good, like, Valentine's Day, February scent. So I'm really happy with the scent that I received this month. And again, it would be based on your profile, so there are other scent options as well. And then there's always a surprise item. I don't think I mentioned this. You get a candle, and then you also, everybody gets the same, like, full-size surprise item. This month, it's this here. It says, Keys to My Happy Place. This is from Leatherette. It's a Leatherette keychain, which retails for $14. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. It's a light vegan, or it's a light tan vegan leather engraved lettering and gold key ring. So you can put your little keys on it. And I do like the keys to my happy place. I don't really carry my keys on anything like this though. So I don't know how much use that I will get out of this. I may not hold on to it, but I do think it's really cute for like a February box. I thought this was a really, really good box for February. This is generally one of my favorite scents that I've gotten in a while from them. Like this is a really, really good one. I want this like, that's what I want to be able to do with this scent. It's very, very good. So really, really happy with the February Vela box. If you get Vela box, which scent did you get this month? I'd love to hear that down in the comments below. And again, I do have that 50% off coupon code in case you're interested in signing up. All right, up next, let's dive into the goddess provisions box for February of 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this box, this is like a monthly, spiritual self-care crystal type of subscription. It's $33 a month and comes with five to seven products inside. Some examples of the products you could get are like crystals, ritual tools, self-care, altar adornments, sacred space decor, divination tools, jewelry, and spiritual books. So that's the type of spiritual box that it is. I know that's not for everybody, but it is for a lot of other people. Um, everything inside is cruelty-free and vegan, and they do donate to trees.org for each box sold. So when you open up the box, that is what it looks like. The theme this month is love more, which yes, very always could be a thing to love more. And then on the inside, it does go over everything inside. Ooh, the very first thing looks super yummy and I love the packaging. And this is from Elements, Ayurveda powered, and this is their rose cocoa mix. Um, it's their truffles rose cocoa mix, it says here. It doesn't say that on the packaging, but on the card, it does say that. Um, so it says, embrace the sacred ritual of creating cocoa drink with a loving twist. This drink mix has rich, dreamy texture and contains organic rose sugar to make the magical properties of the flower love. Um, this retails for $5. This sounds really, really yummy. So how to enjoy you heat one cup of milk in a saucepan until it starts to bubble. You add two tablespoons of the drinking chocolate and whisk briskly until the cocoa is fully incorporated. Um, let it simmer and pour into a cup. And then you can, you know, froth it and do different things for it. Um, for European style hot chocolate, replace the milk with water. Very cool. I have a little um, hot cocoa machine thing, so I'll just put it, probably put that in this, but it sounds really, really yummy. All right, the next thing out is a big old kit. This is the Divine Love Ritual Kit, which retails for $28. So this comes with different things inside of it, which we'll go through here in a minute, but it says create your own love rituals and spells 
With this kit that includes dried lavender, rose, and hibiscus flower, rose quartz chips, rapeseed oil, and a corked heart-shaped glass jar. Okay, let's take a peek. Oh my gosh, the little glass jar is so cute. And if you're somebody who doesn't want to do like the ritual or like that spell, whatever you want to call it, whatever that is, you could just use this as like decoration if you wanted to do that. So you get a cute little heart thing with a cork there. You've got some Love Comes Together, 100% um, grape seed carrier oil um, right here. It's a little essential oil. And then you've got like little bags of things that you can add in. So the first thing is a stone of love. So you get two little rose quartz stones. Then you have rose buds. I don't know if I need to open this all the way up, but it's just gonna be dried rose petals inside of that. I don't wanna take it all out. Then you have hibiscus. All of these smell really, really nice. Just some dried florals. Ooh, and you have lavender. Oh, that smells incredible. Oh, and again, if you're not into doing the rituals, whatever, like you could use these like things for different things because it's just dried flowers. So you could like, oh, this smells so good. You can put this in just in a sachet and have it smell. So love, love, love the kit. That's everything that came in it. Ooh, up next we get this little heart-shaped tin. This is the Goddess Gems Crystal Set, which retails for $25. Ooh, okay, let's open this up. Oh, this is so cute. You get, oops, okay. Well, I'll just drop all of that. You get little heart-shaped gems in them. Okay, that's really fun. So I'm not gonna like have it all fall out again, so I'm gonna like hold it at an angle. So it says, this is a mystical set of gems to help you open the channel to receive divine love. Inside you'll find a precious heart-shaped blue adventurine, amethyst, white howlite, clear quartz, and rose quartz crystals. So a cute little set there. And it does tell you about like all of the properties and all that kind of stuff on the little insert card. Ooh, interesting. I don't think this is like a crystal because it's like made like handmade, if that makes sense. So this is the Love Potion Organite. This retails for $18. Uh, the gem box was 25, I don't know if I said that. So it says, cleanse your aura and environment of negative energy with this unique Organite piece made of rose quartz, amethyst, brass, copper, and resin. Okay, that's what it is, it's made of resin. It's really, really pretty and detailed inside. I don't know if the camera's really gonna pick up on that, but it's very nice. And then last but not least, we get a really pretty necklace. This is the Solku Rose Quartz Necklace for Love. This retails for $27. So it says, remind yourself of the love you deserve with this genuine rose quartz necklace. For more magic, cleanse and meditate with the necklace before wearing to attune it to your energy. It does, it's like on a nice, like, um, super strong nylon cord is what it says on the back. And it does have like a regular, like, necklace hitch. And it's just a beautiful teardropped shape of rose quartz. That's really, really nice. And that's actually everything in the February box. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is my favorite Goddess Provisions box yet. I really, really like it. It's such a great, like, love-themed box for February. I really love everything inside. I think I'm most excited about the drinking chocolate, but I also think the box of these is really cute, and so it's a necklace and everything else. So um, would love to hear your thoughts on this box down below, and I'll leave a link in case you're interested in signing up. All right, and up next, let's jump into the Vine O Oh La La box. Now, y'all know I love a good quarterly lifestyle box, and this one comes with wine. Personally, I don't drink alcohol, so I gift the wine on to family and friends who do enjoy wine. So it's a great box to keep everything, to gift things, and this is just such a fun box. So in the box, you get five to six full-size lifestyle items plus two bottles of wine. Now I do have a coupon code down below Katrina where you can get that plus $10 off and a free Swig Cocktail Club stemless wine cup with that code Katrina. So the regular price of the box is $64.99 a quarter. With my code, it's $10 cheaper, so $54.99, which is a great deal because this box is worth over $169, then plus the free gift. So really, really great deal if you sign up with the code. So they curate their boxes to help women relax, unwind and recharge. And a good bonus tip for this box is you can change the shipping address. So if you've had enough wine or you whatever, or you wanna gift it to somebody, you can switch the mailing address for one quarter and have it shipped to them and then switch it back or however you wanna do it. So if you wanna gift it, you can do it that way or you can just enjoy it all yourself. Or you can do what I do where you get the lifestyle stuff, gift the wine or vice versa. Now, this is the box where the lifestyle products come in. It does come in a bigger box. So that's what the full box looks like. And then the wine is packaged really nicely. Um, so that it doesn't get damaged in transit. Now, I always start talking about the wine since I know nothing about the wine and then I get into the lifestyle stuff. So, 
I will say that as a subscriber, you do choose your wine preference. So it's not completely ran random. You don't get to like pick which wines, but you get to pick where you go. So there are four different clubs. There's the white wine club, the red wine club, the red and white wine club, or the sweet wine club. So depending on your preference, you sign up for which one you want. This is sent to me for, for review, so I didn't get to choose mine, but I received first up the Wicked Bliss 2018 California Cabernet Sauvignon really pretty packaging there. So this is a red. <laughs> this one doesn't give any like descriptions or tasting notes, but it does say we raise a glass to those who break the unwritten rules of life. May you all be bold enough to play hooky, eat cake for breakfast, and shatter glass ceilings with the pursuit of wicked bliss. So there we go with the first wine. Then the second wine is from New Crush. This is the California Rosé 2022. So the New Crush Rosé is a delicious wine with aromas of fresh strawberries, watermelon, pomegranate, and citrus. On the palate, the berries give an upfront juiciness. A crisp, fresh finish makes it a great wine for warm weather days. Very, very cool. I think all of their wines are from California or from South Africa. So these are the two bottles that I got. Depending on your club, you may get different bottles in your box. All right, now onto the lifestyle box. Here is a quick sneak peek. All right, so you do get a little booklet that goes over everything in the oh la la box. So in the email they they in the email they sent, it did say $169 more product in the. Um, booklets is $135 plus based on obviously the wines that you get. All right, the first thing out is actually really fun. We haven't gotten something like this before. This is from Ecolo and this is their canister with lid and it's a sugar canister, um, which retails for $25. So it's high quality ceramic is 4.75 inches by 6.5 inches. It's actually a really good size. I don't really use sugar like this but I really like love the way that this looks. It's really, really cute. Um, so this is a cute and multifunctional canister that has so many uses. Um, you can, it can hold dry ingredients like sugar, fresh baked cookies, kitchen utensils, or you can use it as a flower vase, um, which I think is really, really cute. I mean, it obviously says sugar on it. So I feel like if you're gonna store dry ingredients, you probably have to store sugar in it. I mean, you could hide cookies. You could hide like candy bars in here if you have like kids or like a partner that you want to like hide good snacks from you could put it in here and they could think it's sugar um or you could like take this off and use it as like a flower vase or something like that which i actually think is a really cute idea too it does have oops let me just clank it together it does have like a rubber thing here like so that it does like seal it when you close it um which is i mean it's not like super solidly sealed but it does add that little bit of a seal element and it's like an indented there. So actually really, really cute. I was not expecting this, but it's very cute. Ooh, okay. Up next, we have an umbrella. This is the Parquet umbrella, which retails for $20. Um, nine inches folded and it's, it says eight ounces, which I don't really know if that's a measurement I use when I look at umbrellas, but it's a pretty like um, leopard print. Now, I'm not going to open the umbrella inside because, you know, superstitions, but this is made with a black steel shaft and fiberglass ribs. This animal print compact umbrella will protect you from strong winds and rain year round. It's lightweight and compact and the design allows you to store it for, in your purse whenever you need it. Um, I will show you here what it looks like opened in the booklet. So it's a nice thing there. I've never heard of like fiberglass ribbing in it. I never thought that far into an umbrella to know what it needs. Oops. <laughs> My soul just left my body. It does have like a nice, like elastic, stretchy, like material for the handle. And it does have a little sleeve. So really, really cute umbrella. The next thing out is from Ecola, who also did the like sugar thing. This is a different thing though, obviously. This is their planner pad. Um, it's three dividers with gold embossed inspiring quotes, 32 pages per section and 96 total pages. Designs will vary. So mine is different from the one that's in the booklet. Just. This is like one of the designs you could have gotten, like blue with yellow. And mine is obviously gray. Mine says, check it off, notes and to-dos. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Um, it has little quotes, but it does have like the three little like tab dividers. <gasps> oh, <gasps> oh, I love this. Oh my goodness. So on all of them, it's all the same, like pages within it. It has notes and to-do, but it's on like, it's not called serrated, is it? The pages have like the thing where you can like, it's pre, like, how do you show, how do I show this? That you can rip it and it's already pre like, so you can just like rip it out easy. 
Oh, I love that. That's super fun and super practical. And I'm definitely going to get some use out of this for like my to do's. Oh my goodness. I actually really love this. I don't know if I need the divider. I don't know if dividing them will make it different for me. I mean, I guess if you wanted to keep it in here and store it and like have it for historical purposes, maybe, but um, I love that you can tear it out. So this is really fun. It's a productivity planner that will help give you the tools to reach your goal this year. It's a double golden spiral bound planner and it's peppered with empowering letters. So it does have like little quotes on, on these things here. Like let's crunch these goals and things like that. So that's super duper fun. Okay. I'm really excited about this. This is great. And that retails for $20. I don't know if I said that. All right. Up next, we have a knit headband from Nolia. This retails for $12. Now I'll be honest. This is, I don't, I would, I would never wear something like this. It's just not my style but I'll probably put this in a future giveaway or see if somebody else wants it. Cause it is super cute for like the winter time. It's just not my personal style. Um, this is hundred percent soft polyester, 4.5 inches wide and the colors will vary. I got mine in a cream color, which is the same color that they do have in the picture in the booklet. So this is designed to keep your head and ears warm on chilly days. The knit headband is an essential piece of headwear for colder months. Um, I do think it's a great, like definitely a good staple winter piece. Personally, I just don't, I'm like beanie, <laughs> black beanie. Um, this just isn't really my style, but if it was really cool, I could see myself using this cause I had it. Um, but again, I do think it's a really, really nice product to get in the box. And then last but not least, we have this from Kala. This is their exfoliating stretch towel. This retails for $10. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. It's like that. It's like stretchy and it's long and it's got that like I don't know. So it's an exfoliating stretch shell that gently cleanses, exfoliates, and massages your body with total flexibility. With its unique design that stretches three times the regular washcloth size, it allows for full body coverage and easier access to those hard to reach areas. It's an excellent shower companion for those with limited mobility and perfect to exfoliate with before getting a spray tan. Um, for care instructions, this is, it says rinse and hang dry. For best results, replace every 30 days. Actually, this seems really nice because I feel like you could use this like on your back or whatever because you can get to those places and it actually feels for like an exfoliating thing it's obviously a little rough but it actually feels pretty nice for that so i feel like we get a lot of exfoliating products in boxes and i don't always use them because i'm lazy but this one i actually might get some use out of because it actually looks pretty good and then again if you do sign up with my code katrina you do get those ten dollars off your first box making it 54.99 but you would also then receive with all this a swig cocktail club stemless wine cup which retails for 34 dollars. so if you add that into that that's how you get that 169 dollars plus value if you're just like a regular subscriber that ha like already has subscribed or whatever then the value is 135 or more depending on the wines that you got but if you use my code 169 dollars or more worth of product I thought this one was really fun. I always have fun unboxing these vinyl boxes. They, I, they, they definitely always have something that's a little bit different. Um, there's no snack this time. So I'm a little sad there's no snack because I do like when they have a snack, but I like this, I would have never expected to be in the box and I'm so excited about it. And I'm also super, like these are my two favorite things, but I thought it was a pretty good box, but I'm curious on your thoughts. What did you think of the box? And again, if you use my code Katrina, you get $10 off of your first box and the free swig stemless wine cup. All right. And that is everything in this subscription box Sunday video, all three boxes. All right. Favorite box, favorite product. Um, I actually think the goddess provisions is my favorite box because I just thought it was very well themed. Like the theme was like spot on for like February love Valentine's theme favorite product, either the Vela box candle, or I think this notebook might be my favorite of the video. I'm not sure. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What was your favorite box? What was your favorite product? I know there wasn't as much in this video. It's a little bit shorter than my regular subscription box Sunday video, um, but I thought it was really fun. I enjoyed unboxing all of these boxes. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.